Good morning, SLU High. This is the first KUHI broadcast of the 2009 school year. And this is what's happening near in your community. I'm Andy Eilers. And I'm Robbie Martinow. And let's get started with sports. The SLU swimming and diving team took home a victory at the Tri-Meet at Forest Park Community College last Wednesday. They faced off against two teams, Cape Girardeau and Clayton. The SLU medley relay team raced to first place with notable performances from junior stud muffin Mike Haggerty and freshman Blake Gibson, who finished second in the 500-meter relay. And diving standout Alistair Virod made his appearance. Mark your calendars for Saturday, September 26th, for the DeSmet Invitational. For other news in sports, SLU hosted a major cross-country meet this Saturday in Forest Park. About 120 high schools participated from all over the country. The three levels of competition were freshman, JV, and varsity, in which SLU managed to sweep all three. In junior varsity, Joe Eswine was the fastest SLU runner who placed third place. In varsity, Caleb Ford placed tenth. The next meet is this Saturday at Sioux Passage Park, so feel free to come watch this race. As far as football goes, last week was a rough week because freshmen lost 34-0 and varsity lost 35-7. Thursday was the freshman game where we faced DeSmet in their fourth game of the season. DeSmet started out strong recovering a fumble within the first few minutes of the game. Four minutes had not even run through the game before DeSmet scored their first touchdown. SLU's offense was having much difficulty connecting their passes. The SLU defense progressively got better as the game went on. One example of this is an interception by number 25, Ryan Castleton. Varsity would face off tomorrow, where SLU would be the first team to score against DeSmet. The next freshman game is at Webster Groves on Wednesday, and Varsity is playing Friday where at SLU, so come and support your teams. Plenty of faculty and other SLU students took part in the freshman bake sale. Freshman moms came in and volunteered to cook and come into SLU outside of the cafeteria to sell many delicious treats from cookies to puppy chow, which the entire stock was sold at about 30 seconds from ravenous juniors and seniors. The Mother's Club helped raise money to help fund events for the freshman events that encompass the entire year. Good morning, St. Louis University High School. I'm Steve Lari with your weather report. We woke up with some nice temperatures today at 7 a.m. It was around 68 degrees. Let's take a look at our day ahead today during activity period. It's going to be about partly cloudy um, with a temperature around 70 degrees. So if you could get outside and sit on those benches with uh, Ignatius Loyola out there, it would be a nice weather to do that. And uh, today during lunch, 78 degrees, and it's still going to be partly cloudy. I think we're going to be um, partly cloudy throughout the day. Um, and then uh, 3 o'clock today for a dismissal. We're going to be still partly cloudy and 81 degrees. Let's take a look at our next slide to see the week ahead. Wednesday, we are going to be partly cloudy with a high of uh, 80 degrees. And uh, we're going to stay partly sunny throughout the rest of the week with um, temperatures staying in the mid to upper 70s. And uh, looking like on Friday, we're going to be mostly sunny for any uh, game being played. It's going to be great weather. Uh, but our main concern this week is our allergy index. If we take a look at our next slide, there it is, mold, hitting around uh, 26. <sighs> Watch out if you've um, you got mold allergies. And also, our sun index is going to be around 7, which is moderate. So um, if you are sensitive to sun, make sure you put on that sunscreen. Also, our air quality with uh, the Highway 40 construction, it's going to be a little dusty. So if you have asthma or anything, make sure you take extra precautions. This image is courtesy of KSDK Weather Plus. So I'm Steve Lari. That was your weather. Let's go back to you guys in the studio. This is a reminder to all SLU students that you need to regularly check your Zimber email account. From all of us here at KUHI-TV, I'm Robbie Martineau. And I'm Andy Eilers. Thanks for stopping by, SLU. Thank you.